Hello there and welcome to Baby Dragon's Playground. Now today we're gonna take a look at a game called Honey, I Joined the Cult. And this game is pretty cool, it's kind of similar to, to Prison Architect, RimWorld in a way, and maybe a few, a few other games as well. And essentially the idea is, as you probably guessed it already, is to start a cult. Have some members, and the members, your staff, will be working for you in the, in the hopes of spreading your beliefs to all those poor people that live around the area and um, what the, what we're essentially trying to do here is to get some money and uh, some other points from them so that we can uh, forever expand right so the uh, first uh, window here when we start a new game we get to actually customize quite a few things and i was thinking this could potentially be a very interesting game where you help me decide uh, what sort of uh, setup we have here and uh, I think there was one uh, let me just go where was it oh here we got one with a dragon as well so I mean the leader is gonna have to be baby dragon over here and then it gives a couple more uh, options for us to really fine-tune what uh, what we look like as well now we can also change the cult name and uh, what the divine being is gonna be called we can change the symbol change the color and there's a couple of options here. So the cultist is essentially what uh, what our staff will be, and that would be very cool to have some of uh, some of you, the viewers, join the team in here as well. And when it comes to the room, and we can choose the name of the relic and what the what the room itself is called and what it's gonna look like as well. So this egg actually suits pretty well. But all right, so enough of this. Let's get this game started and let's have a quick look what this game is all about. Right, so we start with uh, five people. The first one uh, being uh, being me, of course, and then we got five, uh, sorry, four people that will help us uh, spread our beliefs as well. Now, the first few things we'll have to construct. Um, let's do a little room in here. And what I like about this game is that uh, we don't have to wait for the construction materials to arrive and you know all that kind of stuff. So the menu itself, the interface is very very simple. We've got the um, uh, our money over here. Then we have faith, influence, PR points, and heat. At the bottom, the usual build menu. We can uh, des designate the rooms. Well, we've got objects with uh, also really nice filtering uh, system in here as well. Overview of our compound, uh, our our st uh, staff, and the followers. We've got a mission here as well, so we can send some of our staff out to bring us some more money and, and fame as well. The research, uh, well, we'll build the research office very uh, shortly, but there is a lot of things to research and that's pretty cool. Then we also have the divine inspirations in here, which uh, will help us towards some of the darker beliefs and, and decorations as well. Right, so we've built our first um, building here or room. And we are gonna need a few items in here, such as those wonderful buckets. Uh, and the hygiene decreases minus 20. These are terrible. But we will do a few. And I think uh, it would be nice if they could also wash their hands. And a few shower heads as well, which also looks like a bucket on a stick, essentially. I think the drains are more of a decor decorative items, but uh, we'll, we'll have a couple in here. Now, other things we'll, uh, we'll need. Uh, let's see if we can do another room. What size was this? 7x7, seven seven, wasn't it? Uh, we'll do one here. Oh, that seems bigger, but that's okay. We'll do one more, and then what we can do... We scroll down a little bit. We can put the wall... It's not in the middle, is it? This seems more like a middle. Right, and I'll build a couple of things and we'll be back right away. All right, so now we have all the necessities built. We've got a bathroom over here, a bedroom, canteen, and our Jurassic house uh, where our great leader will perform some rituals and to really boost the morale of, of all of our people as well. We also have this therapy room over here where our potential follower, followers will come to meditate. So right now, it seems like uh, they're just waiting for, for some followers uh, to, to pop by. We also have a reception. And um, let's see if we can do research. No, we cannot do research. 
So with the rooms, no, it does not really give us any, any options right now, but it seems we do have a mission that's available to us. Right, so let's assign Dynaman, and Amy seems to be the most appropriate member, so let's uh, send Amy out there. And now Amy is going to go to the location in the hopes of succeeding and bringing us some more money and fame. Right, there's our first follower, Brace the Grimlock. Okay, and where is he going to go? He's going to go to Meditate and... Yeah, there we go. Here's some money and also some influence. Thanks to... Uh, who is this over here? Eleanor trying to entertain our followers. And we've got a second one that's now joined us as well. And here we go. Look at all that money and influence points coming in. That is fantastic. Now, right now, our compound is pretty, uh, pretty primitive. There isn't a lot to do, but we have completed our first mission. And we're getting, what is it, 88 experience and we got 500 cash. So that's not too bad. Now rooms, we have unlocked the research office. And now as soon as this is built, let's see, we are going to need a supercomputer and a desk for, for our bonds to work from as well. Now this unlocks the research options and if I scroll through, there is just a ton of things we can do. Um, I like that there's a bit of a variety in here, but it just feels like, um, I guess it's a bit of a downside. Uh, you sort of have to do them all, or most of them, because they're all connected. It's, it's not like you can branch off into a specific area. Um, with certain amenities, you definitely want to upgrade. Otherwise, your people, let's say, for example, bathroom and, and, and canteen, uh, in my test run as well, everyone was just getting constantly sick because the um, bathroom level was so low and uh, yeah, that just caused a whole lot of problems for us. And uh, yeah, so now we have uh, L over here helping us with the research and it should only take about four hours. Now, the, at the start of the game, influence is going to be quite a, quite a choke point uh, as I experienced in my test run as well. But uh, slow and steady wins the race, so we almost have the maintenance room, which is also very vital to our operations. Because, let me just slow down uh, slow down the time actually, um, that's because some of those items will wear down over time. So now if we go into the maintenance room, we can build this over here. And what do we need to build? A couple of, uh, we're going to need the workbench. This fits here perfectly and we need a tool trolley and a cleaning cart. Fantastic. And if anything breaks, we can, um, you know, fix them. Another option is to also sell the items, but then I guess you can't really sell because here you're just deleting the object. And in my experience, it seemed like you're not really getting any, any money back for that. So uh, yeah, definitely, definitely going to repair items instead of uh, just selling them unless we want to upgrade. Oh, okay. Someone's injured. What happened? Dirty, dirty hands whilst eating, right. And the effect is max bladder reduced by 50%. Uh, let me just get rid of these tooltips over here. Time for a rebrand. Uh, nah, we're, we're pretty happy for, for our test run with what we have so far. And, and yeah, so once it gets to about, I think, 10 o'clock, we're going to have a hold a sermon over here where the great leader is going to... Oh, here we go. And as we can see, Baby Dragon's giving a little motivational speech for all the staff. Everyone's super excited. And little tally of what happened today. And overall, cult happiness seems to be pretty, pretty good right now. Okay, great. And now what hap uh, what's going to happen? Everyone's going to go to bed. Have a good night's sleep until we wake again in the morning in the hopes of getting even more influence points and money from all those poor people and the first morning of our beautiful cult run over here has dawned on us everyone's nice and fresh they've had their breakfast they've had their toilet break and we are off to ripping off some people and uh we're not stealing money we're, we are providing a service over here and in return uh, what happens to this? You need to keep a diary. Let's see what hap what's happening. Uh, right, we're talking about a schedule here. So let's take a look at our, our Dynaman. Uh, and in this view, we've got a couple of options. So the first one is going to show their health mood and some of the other 
uh, other benefits they currently have. Then under, what is it, this one, skills and traits, um, shows the, the level of different skills. And these skills are used during missions to get a higher chance of being uh, uh, successful out on the map there. But these skills are also useful when working at different therapy rooms. And the next tab over here is we can assign some people to work at specific areas. And the last one, just like uh, the other similar titles, we can change the schedule up a little bit as well. Right, the research seems to be done, so now we can build a recreational room. I think from here we should go, let's see, I would really like to upgrade the bathroom and it seems we'll have to go through the mood boost then. So let's do that. So someone has leveled up, let's take a look at them as well. Two skill points can be assigned. You are currently working at the meditation studio and we need empathy and retail. Right, so that's gonna, retail is gonna give us some more, more money. And empathy is gonna increase healing speed, so let's go with the retail. We want all the money that we can get. Time to expand, let's build another room. Uh, first, should probably check how big does it have to be, 10 by 8. So what we'll do is we'll choose another foundation. How big is this here? Oh, okay, well, almost. Well, that's fine. Let's do... Oh, well, maybe something like like so. Well, that's a little annoying, but oh well. Uh, cell door seems to be... No, let, let's put something else. Let's, let's grab one of these doors. And the room assignment shall be a recreational room. And that's going to be for our pawns. What we can do here is... We'll give them some dominoes. One of these ones, uh, yep, that seems like a good uh, spot there. We've got a slot machine and a record player for up to four people to enjoy at a time. Fantastic. So now when we click on, um, let's see, one of our pawns uh, up here, we should be able to see their mood as well. So over time, this is going to go, go, go down a little bit, but uh, if their mood is quite low, they will come to the uh, recreational room to have some fun over there. Do we have anyone working here? No, we don't. What sort of traits would be use, uh, useful? I uh, skills, I mean, bluffing and social. So who's got the highest? Let's see, our Dynaman. And if we go into the skills, we've got bluffing and social here. It seems only Amy is qualified. So how about we stick Amy? We go back to back there. Amy is here. Amy, please work in the lobby. And we can upgrade a few more people. Who wants working here? Let's see. Empathy retail. So who had the highest retail? And if we check at the skills tab, we can see Amanda. Amanda, you shall be in this office here. And everyone else is leveling up as well. In the Jurassic house, what's going to be useful here? We've got the public speak speaking to increase money gains, but bluffing influence gains. Influence is going to be very useful, so who's in here? L. Okay, so let's do public speaking. And what was the other one? Ah, bluffing. Okay, so let's give you bluffing as well. Let's do one point in there. And with Eleanor, we are going to ask Eleanor to work from... Jurassic House. And there we go. Okay, so that's uh, that's a small quick overview. I'd like to keep this video very short, so uh, let me know what you think about this game and maybe you could do uh, even a short playthrough in this to try and uh, dominate this area with all the Baby Dragon's followers. And um, what I'll do is I'll uh, drop a little template in the comment section below so that way if you'd like to see a playthrough in Honey I Joined the Cult, please leave a comment uh, below if you have any, any ideas or questions. Great, uh, great tips what we should call this playthrough and and I think with a few people we could even name them and bring you into this game as well. So yeah, drop a like on this video if you would like us to do a playthrough and once we get a quite a quite a few people that uh, would like to see this game then uh, we'll definitely schedule this game in as well. But until then, thanks very much for watching and uh, hopefully see you in the next video.